Hello again, everyone. It is Black Knight. And I thought I'd show you guys how I can transfer from one account to another account, which is a little bit trickier than just having... I don't know about trickier. It's a little bit different than uh, transferring from ship to ship within your account. Technically speaking, this takes a little bit more setup, but it's a little less, a little less touchy. Technically, I can show you how to do... Um, do both. Let's do let's do both. So I'm out here in the Alaska system and this This is my mule ship. Okay, this is my my store ship as they would call it. Alright, this is a ship I've already stored yeah, about twenty or so blasters on it. I don't even have proper secondary guns up here. And we can check, make sure there's nobody potentially in the system who could be hostile. No, we're all alone on our own. So if I switch to a new, another character in the same system, now technically speaking, my, that, that didn't put my other ship back inside the station. Okay. Do you have anything on here that's... Okay, let's let's do this. Let's go. We'll, we'll we'll demonstrate transferring stuff with just a nanobot. You go to you select whatever you want to drop. Could be a gun. Could be cargo. Ooh, we have cargo. Let's do that. Let's do a cargo drop because that's a useful thing. This is something that you would have to do if you're using a large transport because it's the only way you can't land a large transport. You have to use this technique makes it a little bit of a challenge, but what you do is you, you select what you want, jettison Cargo it. Jettison. Shield deactivated. Cargo jettisoned. Now, what you have to do is you have to wait for your shield to come back up. Shield activated. Or wait basically the same amount of time. So if you have a ship with no shield, which I don't think the LTs have a shield. Then you quickly... And without dilly-dallying, switch to the ship that you want to receive the stuff. And there they are. They're in space. I'm in a different ship, so I can just beam these things in. And now, they're here. Now, let's say, let's just say, you wanted to transfer stuff between... The five ships that you have in this account and the ships you have in another account. Well, the nice thing about Freelancer is it's, it's not like GTA where if you minimize it, you get kicked out. So, as long as this ship is here and no one's blowing it up and it's, it's in space, it's not in a station or on a planet, you won't get eject for being, ejected for being idle. You're set there. So what we can do is we can stop recording here log, you know, basically switch users on, don't log out of your account, but switch users on your Windows machine, go to another account, log that one in, and set everything up, launch your ship, and your two ships will be next to each other, which is another, also how I'm able to trim the uh, the tail feathers on this thing, take the, the, uh, the tail pieces off, because I can come in with another ship and shoot them off. Switch ships again, repair the hull, land, you're all set. So let's do that. Okay, here we are. I've loaded up my other account. This is the account I was demonstrating earlier when we went from, uh, from Omicron Major and found that we could get to Alaska in easy fashion. So let's load up the Night Raider. Which the Night Raider, you'll remember, has some loose energy cannons here. And if I get blown up, I lose them. You lose whatever is not mounted. So let us... By the way, if you if you kill another player, you can get whatever they have in their hole. That hole, that's a that's a thing. So we fly out here and oh look, look who it is. It's me. So we can fly right up next to the ship if we want. Hey, how you doing? Then all we have to do is dump the gun. 
Shield deactivated. Cargo jettisoned. 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 It can be a little bit tedious if you're uh, if you're doing this if you have a lot of them. Now it's important to note the most weapons you can hold on a system. Hold on, a system. It's important to note the the most weapons you can hold on a spaceship is I want to say a hundred. Hundred I think is where it gets unstable and may blow up your account. You might want to keep it to fifty. Pretty, pretty certain I've got stuff to close, close to. Um, that was pretty. Watch the doors close. I've gotten. I think I have stuff that's pretty close to 100 on my store ships. But you know, you want to be careful. You, if you get too many weapons, then I think it corrupts your account, and you have to delete the ship. And uh, there's all kinds of problems with it. So you can't have an unlimited amount of weapons on here. Now, all we have to do now. Is switch you know switch you know basically minimize this switch back to the other account and then beam them in. Now here's an interesting thing: my audio is completely glitched out when I've come back, so I may have to. I'm not even sure if you're hearing my voice yet, so I'll have to play this back and see if I've got voice recording going on here. But all you'd have to do now is hit B. B beams them all in. There you can get a, a nice view of my night raider. Generally speaking, I don't run into any kind of, you know, glitches like this where you don't you lose your ambient audio and stuff like that. But I am, at the same time I'm doing all this, uploading an 11 gig video file to my channel. So it's, it's uh, yeah, I've got a, this computer is doing a lot at once right now. So that could be an issue. I've, I'm, the frame rate's pretty well down here too. So it could be that I'm, I'm over overtaxing the computer a little bit. But that's because I'm doing more than just this. I, this was a technique I used on even on my old computer from five six years ago, so it, it will work. The game is not that intense. Now we dock to make sure the ship gets to be safe. No one can blow it up. Exit this game altogether, and then go back and see if we have audio on on the other ship. And the audio is glitched here, too. I did check, and the, the microphone's working. And this is this is a weird problem on my end. You generally won't see this. I mean, I've been playing this game for years. This is the first time I've ever seen this particular problem. Very strange stuff going on here. Probably probably largely related, to, like I said, to the fact that I'm, I've got other processes going. I'm running. I'm running that. I'm uploading. Not only am I uploading a file to uh, to YouTube. I've got Backblaze doing my initial backup on this, which will take probably a hundred years because of all the video stuff I have here. I have to process a lot of stuff and uh, some other things like that. My luck. It's probably doing a virus scan on top of everything else. But somehow, something something's unhappy here in. Uh, in my audio land but hey that's neither here nor there now you can see i've switched back i've logged out completely i'm alone here well nikla's back in gamma must have just gone for a sandwich or a bathroom break or something and then got ejected for being idle if you're if you're in a, uh, inside the station and you walk away then you get ejected for being idle but if you just pop outside you can stay there all day And now he's got home. Oh well. So that's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. It's it. You can do this. It's you know pretty consistently. You, the only thing you'd have to worry about is let's say Nikola had a ship in in uh, in Alaska and decided, you know what? I see you're transferring stuff here. I see some ships out here. I'll just blow them up because then you can lose all of your cargo. Gets to be really interesting if you're running contraband to one of the systems to which it's popular, and you're dumping really large amounts of of really expensive stuff into space and people might want it. They'll come and get it. So you have to it, you have to be a little sharp. You have to 
you know, use you know your chat window, or as I like to call it, the long range scanner. It'll show you where everybody is. And that's that. That's how that works. I hope this was a, a useful and informative video for you. Like and like and subscribe if you found this useful. <laughs> please, please, it'd be really great. And on this note, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. <laughs>